Hello all, welcome to our channel Tech LT World. So today we'll be discussing about a very important topic in LT that is timers in LT. So let us begin. So um, there are there are various uh, timers in LT, uh, and each timers in LT serves different purposes. Uh, it starts at certain uh, certain um, request or certain message, and it ends at certain messages. So in in this video, we'll be discussing about it. Uh, we'll be also discussing about what are the ranges of some of the timers. So uh, the first timer, if you can see in our slide, is T three zero zero. Okay. So when does this T three zero zero starts? So this, as you can see, this T three zero zero starts at the transmission of RRC connection request. Okay. So this UE, as we know, okay. Uh, if uh, if anyone um, doesn't know uh, what are these RRC messages, so don't worry. Uh, in the, in our upcoming videos, we'll be we'll be uh, we'll be uh, posting uh, the videos on uh, various RRC messages. How does it exchange between UE and the uh, eNodeB? We'll be discussing it. Uh, so for now, uh, just uh, you you need to know that that UE sends this uh, UE sends this RRC connection request message. Okay, to the eNodeB. Okay. So uh, when this UE sends this eNodeB, uh, this RRC connection request message, it starts this timer called T300. Okay, and it ends when uh, when when the eNodeB uh, sends the. It, it basically, uh, as we know, the eNodeB will obviously respond for this RRC connection request, right? So eNodeB will sends uh, eNodeB will basically sends this RRC connection setup or either RRC connection setup uh, RRC connection reset message. Okay, so when the UE uh, receives this RRC connection setup or RRC connection re reject message. Okay, so this uh, timer will be stopped. Okay, this timer will be stopped. So um, the um, and, and also uh, th there are certain uh, other uh, areas where this uh, timers uh, get end, like cell reselection, if you can see, and also and up 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 upon the abortion of the connection. Uh, Stab, uh, connection establishment by the upper layer in this case also this timer 3300 gets ended okay uh, and upon the expiry uh, upon the expiry of this t30 timer what is it will do it will reset the mac resetting the mac means that it will release all the mac configuration which it has set and and, uh, and it will reestablish rlc for all the radio bearers that, that it has established okay it, uh, it will also inform the upper layer about the failure to establish this rlc connection uh, upon upon which this procedure will end okay so hope it, uh, that the the functionality of this t300 timer is clear that is uh, if i revise back that it t300 starts upon the transmission of rrc connection request by ue which is sent to enodp so when it transmits it this t300 timer starts and when it ends it ends when it uh, when it receives rrc connection uh, when it receives RRC connection setup reject, okay. When it, when it receives, when the uh, UE receives RRC connection setup or either RRC connection reject, it will basically stop this timer, okay. Uh, the the uh, the range of these timers can be uh, can be on the range of hundred, okay, hundred milliseconds, right? Hundred milliseconds. It can be two hundred, right? It can be three hundred. It can be four hundred, right? It can be five hundred. It can and also it can be thousand. And also it can be uh, 1500 and also 2000 okay this these are the various ranges under uh, uh, it can take okay it can uh, the values it can take okay t300 times and the next timer which is uh, uh, which you can see here is t301 okay so this t301 timer starts when the transmission of uh, reestablishment request okay so this what is this reestablishment request Okay, as we know uh, that uh, the, in the previous timer, as I told you that uh, RRC connection setup is sent by UE and then uh, eNodeB replies with RRC connection setup. If the RRC connection procedure is correct, is RRC connection request is correct, then it will uh, eNodeB will reply with RRC connection setup. If, if there is a failure, then it will send RRC connection reject. Okay, so if it sends RRC connection reject, so UE will again try to establish that RRC connection, right? So for this, you will send RRC connection establishment request to whom? To eNodeB. Okay, to so, eNodeB, it will send the RRC connection reestablishment request. And when it sends this, when the when the transmission will happen, then it will start this timer T301. Okay, then eNodeB, uh, and when it does, when it will end, 
it will end when uh, ue uh, ue receives the uh, ue receives the rrc connection uh, uh, rrc connection reestablishment uh, uh, or rrc connection uh, reestablishment uh, reject message okay so either either of the uh, two two uh, scenarios it will basically end this timer okay and upon the expiry of this timer what it will do it will set the rrc to rrc idle okay so this is the thing so and uh, the range of these timers are also same as the T300. Okay, it will also take the values of 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 1000, right? Uh, 1500, to, uh, 1500, 200. Okay. Uh, and then the third timer which we we'll want to discuss is T302. Okay. So T302 uh, starts upon the reception of RRC connection reject. Okay, so uh, I mean, it means that if you can see, if you can relate that uh, this uh, whenever there is a reception of RRC connection reject, okay, uh, while of, while performing the RRC connection establishment, uh, this timer T three zero two will will be started. It's kind of, it's it's a kind of negative scenario timer. Okay, whenever uh, whenever uh, th there is a failure of RRC connection, then it will T three zero two timer will start, and when it will end, it will end upon when RRC again will be connected. Okay. When when the RRC connection will be done, then it will basically uh, stop this timer, or also upon cell reselection, it will stop this timer T302. Okay. So and, and, and upon the expiry, if you can see, uh, it can uh, it upon the expiry, you can see what, what it it does do. It basically if the timer T302 expires or it is stopped, basically it will turn the upper layer about this uh, particular elevation. What what has happened? and uh, for mobile terminating access message or mobile originating calls okay so uh, upon the expiry of this timer basically it will inform about the, uh, the upper layer about the mobile ter mobile terminating access and mobile originating calls right so this is a t302 timer okay uh, t303 uh, timer okay is actually uh, is, um, is basically uh, done for the access bar while uh, access bar uh, it, it basically starts you can say uh, while performing RRC connection establishment for mobile originating call. Okay, so as we know that whenever this RRC connection establishment is been initiated for mobile originating call for MO call, then this T302 uh, T303 timer will start. Okay, and it will end upon the uh, when when uh, RRC connection uh, will be done when RRC is connected when upon RRC connected it will basically end this T303 timer. Okay, and um, for the mobile originating calls only okay and our upper expiry again it will inform the uh, upper layer okay that the t303 timer has been expired or, and all the this process has been completed right <coughs> and uh, this t30 uh, t304 timer okay so this t304 timer is actually related with the uh, handover okay so anyone who doesn't know about handover procedure uh, we have uploaded we have already uploaded uh, handover related uh, video um, in our channel so you can watch it out uh, you can watch it out and it, will, uh, and it will give you a better clarity about handover procedure but for now uh, for now i just want to give you uh, means in a brief manner in an over uh, uh, in an high level manner uh, like how this type this timer works for handover is that like as we know that uh, there is ue right there is a source e node b right and there is target e node b right so uh, this this uh, t304 timer will start when source e node b will send it will send the ue rrc connection reconfiguration okay rrc connection reconfiguration right So whenever you sell C node B will means and, and when this how this will happen, as we know that E node B what happens? That first of all you will send the measurement report, right? Uh, uh, you will send the um, you will send the measurement report, right? And when you E node B resource receives source E node B receives the measurement report, it will send the handover request to target E node B, right? And then target E node B will reply it with handover acknowledgement message. And then source E node B will send uh, uh, UE the RRC connection reconfiguration message, right? And when and during this transmission only, uh, when UE receives this RRC connection reconfiguration, it will start this T304 timer, right? Um, and the, inside this uh, RRC uh, reconfiguration message, also mobility control information are there, right? And various uh, uh, cell change order related messages are also present, right? And also, uh, and the question, and also, when does this T304 timer ends? The question is. So basically, it will end 
when uh, UE will send the target in node B, target in node B, RRC connection, reconfiguration complete message. Okay, RRC connection, reconfiguration. complete right this message when it will uh, when uh, when uh, you, you will send to target it not be then this t30 timer will be uh, when target will be received then, then it will stop this t30 timer right so upon expiry what happens that in case of uh, cell change order like from utra to let's say it was utra and then it uh, or, or intra, uh, intra utra let's say okay intra utra handover uh, it will initiate the RRC connection reestablishment procedure. Okay, in case of that, it will basically upon expiry, it will it will basically initiate the RRC connection reestablishment procedure. And in case of handover to Utra, okay, in, uh, to Utra, it will perform the actions um, uh, actions denied in the specification applic applicable for the source rate. Okay, these are the things which it it will do upon the expiry. Okay, uh, that it will initiate the RRC uh, for the uh, Utra or intra Utra handover. Um, it will initiate the RRC connection reestablishment procedure, and in case of handover to e Ultra, let's say it was in some other RAT, okay, uh, it was in 2G or 3G, uh, and it is uh, basically handover, it, it is getting handover to e Ultra, then it will perform the actions which were denied in the specification which were applicable for that particular RAT, okay. And uh, fine, and then we we comes to the uh, other, other timer, which is the T305, okay. Uh, so uh, T305. Five uh, is also uh, starts when uh, it uh, when it basically starts when uh, when access bar while performing RRC connection establishment for mobile originating signaling. Okay, this this is actually done during uh, as uh, if you can see this T three zero three timer. It was it was basically start with uh, it basically start when RRC connection establishment was done for mobile originating call. So here here it will start when it will do a mobile originating signaling. Okay, it is a, there is a difference, right? So that was T302 was done, uh, 3 was done for calls. It, it is this for signaling, right? And, and it will end when RC connection state is entered, right? Or upon cell reselection, it will basically uh, stop this timer, okay? And also upon expiry, it will inform the upper layer about the procedure, right? And uh, the most, also one of the most important timer which is actually present is the uh, T310, uh, T310, um, T3, one uh, T310 timer okay so this T310 timer starts upon detecting the uh, de detecting the physical layer problem so what are what are these physical layer problems so physical layer problems can be radio link failure right so there is a parameter called uh, there is a parameter called N310 okay so what is this N310 okay what is this N310 so N310 is a parameter which indicates the number of 200 millisecond interval when the UE is unable to successfully decode, decode the PDCCS information due to the low RSRP. Okay, so uh, it is the interval. It is a 200 millisecond. It is also a kind of timer only. Uh, it's a parameter. Okay, uh, of uh, uh, where it denotes that uh, means it is of 200 millisecond interval in which UE was unable to decode the uh, PDCCS information. Okay, it was unable to decode the PDCCS information in the downlink. So uh, this will then it will start this timer okay when it, whenever it will detect the uh, physical layer problem and one of the problem is the radio link failure okay so whenever it detects this uh, it will basically starts the t310 timer okay uh, and um, when it will end it when it will receive the uh, n311 okay so what is this n311 so n311 is just opposite of n310 it's it's an uh, and it basically indicate the number of 100 millisecond interval okay that was 200 millisecond it is a, it is a, it indicates the duration of 100 millisecond interval for which ue was able to de detect the pdccs information in the downlink okay so it's it's a kind of opposite of what n310 is right it is an 100 millisecond interval for which ue was able to detect okay so uh, it means that whenever it will uh, whenever it will detect that okay the the physical layer problem which was existing it got solved it got resolved then it will again it will stop this t310 timer so the basic the main role of this t310 is nothing but it detects the it detects the physical layer problem if, if it occurs in, in, in the uh, while the uh, when the call flow is going on right so it will start this timer okay uh, right so this is the role this n311 parameter is also important that right? it's an 100 millisecond interval uh, upon which uh, the ue is able to decode the pdccs information in the downlink right so and upon the expiry uh, what happens is that if you see 
if, if security is not activated, as we know, there are two types of security like RRC or NEST. So if the security is not activated, right, then what will happen? It will go to RRC idle, else it will initiate the RRC connection reestablishment procedure, right? So this is what it will do during the uh, rest, um, during the uh, expiry, right? Uh, and then there are other two timers, which is T311. Okay, so T311 is nothing but uh, it basically initiate upon the re, uh, RRC connection reestablishment procedure. Okay, so there is an RRC connection. Uh, it, it initiated itself during the uh, RRC connection reestablishment procedure, and it select it's, it's uh, it ends when it select a suitable UTRA cell. Okay, when it is able to select a suitable UTRA cell or or cell using another red, then it will stop this T311 timer. Okay, and upon the expiry. It will basically uh, uh, enter in the RRC idle state, right? And then uh, we have the T320. Okay, so this T320 timer is starts upon receiving the T320 uh, uh, or upon the cell reselection to UTRA from another red. Okay, so uh, suppose let's say it was in some other red like 2G or 3G, and when and it, and it is able to select a reselected uh, select to UE UTRA. Okay, with a validity time configured for the dedicated priorities, then it will start this T320. Okay, and upon uh, entering to the state of RRC connected, okay, uh, when PLM selection is performed, requested by NAS or upon uh, reselection to another red, okay, then it will stop this timer. It means that uh, this T320 timer, uh, timer is for the reselection procedure. Like whenever there is a reselection, like already it is connected to some cell or some red, okay, and when it is doing the reselection procedure to some to U E UTRA, okay. Then it will start this timer, and now when it gets connected, when RS is connected, then it will stop this T320 timer. Okay. Upon the expiry, what it will do? It will discard the cell reselection priority information provided by dedicated signal. Okay. So you can see that uh, um, upon expiry, it will discard all the cell select reselection priorities information. Okay. Which was uh, which was actually provided during the dedicated signal, right? And the final timer which we will discuss is T321. Okay. So this T321. Uh, timer uh, actually um, it uh, um, so it basically starts doing the when it receives the misconfig including a report config in the uh, with the purpose to set CGI so this is also you can say a kind of uh, handover timer only okay so it basically starts when uh, um, when it receives the misconfig okay you when it receives the uh, uh, misconfig uh, and also including uh, inside that uh, we have the report config uh, and the main purpose of uh, this particular thing is to set the report cgi okay when you receive this it will start this three two time one timer okay and uh when it ends when, when it able to set the uh, set the all the fields of cell global id okay uh means upon acquiring this information when it is able to set, set the cell global id okay for all the requested cell and also upon receiving the misconfig that includes the removal of this report config with the purpose to set to report cgi then it will stop this t321 okay uh, upon expiry, what you will do, it will initiate the uh, measurement reporting procedure. As we know, UE sends the measurement report, right? So up, upon expiry, this, when the timer st stops, then the measurement report procedure will start and it will stop performing the related measurement and remove the corresponding miss ID. Okay, this is very important. That the, that, uh, the role of T321 is to, uh, that um, uh, basically, when the measurement measurement reporting only, right? Uh, it starts on the receiving of miss config, including report config. Okay, and then uh, upon acquiring the information, and, and as soon as it sets the cell global ID, okay, uh, and upon receiving the misconfig that includes the removal of this report config with the proposed to set report CGI, it will stop this T32 on timer. Okay, and up, up and and upon and when it expires, it will basically start the measurement report procedure. Okay, and 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 if it is already doing some other um, previous measurement, then it will stop it and it will start a new measurement reporting procedure, and it will re remove all the corresponding miss ID. Yes. So this was our video on timers in LT. Hope you all like it. Uh, we'll be coming um, coming up with more interesting videos on LT. So keep supporting us. Keep watching. Thank you.